Let's say you need to measure a widely diverging low-power laser beam, such as might be emitted by a laser diode or emerging from a fiber. Say the power is in the milliwatt range, or let's make it even harder, the microwatt range. How do you do it? You could use a photodiode-based sensor. That's usually what you'd use for such low powers. But the beam is widely diverging, and a lot of it might just miss the sensor's aperture unless you bring it really close. Also, photodiode sensors usually have a strong angle dependence. How about a thermal sensor? There are high-sensitivity thermal sensors. Ophir has some that can measure down to a few microwatts. However, part of their design that enables measuring such low powers is that they tend to have a small aperture to keep the inherent noise down. So again, making sure to fully capture the beam is a challenge. There's less angle dependence than for photodiodes, but it's still an issue. Also, thermal sensors are obviously sensitive to heat. High sensitivity models are very sensitive to heat and can pick up even body heat. For example, in some telecom applications, you might notice that just connecting or disconnecting a fiber adapter from the sensor results in a reading. The heat from your fingers can be picked up by the sensor and mistaken for incoming laser power, speaking from actual experience. The Ophir 3AIS is an integrating sphere sensor consisting of a small 1.6-inch integrating sphere and a built-in photodiode detector. The whole device is calibrated over a wide spectral range and is configured as a standard Ophir smart sensor compatible with any standard Ophir smart meter. An integrating sphere is essentially a hollow sphere whose inner surface is white, very diffuse, and very reflective. Incoming light is bounced around inside the sphere so that it gets uniformly distributed throughout the sphere's inner surface. A detector measures the power, and because the light has been uniformly distributed, the fraction of the total power that the detector sees is an accurate indicator of the total power in the beam. Well, sort of. Just how correct that statement is depends on just how uniformly distributed the light actually is. Various tricks are used in the design of these instruments to get their performance as close to the theory as possible. The Ophir 3AIS uses a neat trick, particularly suited to small spheres, where the light from one sphere is fed into a second sphere in tandem. This helps ensure highly accurate measurements for both collimated and diverging beams and gives the 3AIS a very wide acceptance angle with very little dependence on the beam's incidence angle or position in the entrance aperture. That helps minimize the risk of measurement error by users such as field service engineers, researchers, and similar. The combination of a photodiode detector and the integrating sphere also gives the 3AIS a wide dynamic range. It comes in two models, the 3AIS with a silicon detector and the 3AIS IRG with an in-gas detector, each calibrated with a full spectral curve to cover the full respective spectral regions. Both models of the 3AIS can measure average powers from 1 microwatt up to 3 watts, covering the spectral ranges 350 to 1100 nanometers for the 3AIS and 800 to 1700 nanometers for the 3AIS IRG. Because the detector itself sees only a small fraction of the actual power in the beam, it can stand up to laser conditions beyond what a regular sensor might be able to, such as using it to measure ultra-short pulse beams for which the peak or instantaneous power could be too high for thermal sensors. Various fiber adapters are available. There's also an additional fiber output port for sampling light out to other measurement instruments, such as a spectrometer or a temporal pulse-shaped sensor. To learn more, contact Ophir directly through our local partners or through our website.